A college football season is happening in the Big 12. Despite all this news, we've heard about Texas and Oklahoma leaving for the SEC. That's not happening this season. So we still want to preview this Big 12 season coming up because there are some interesting lines for teams in the top 25. This is the Sports Geek. I'm Jake Higgins with Jared Slensky and Antonio Williams, as always. Let us know in the comments who you think is going to win the Big 12. We're going to let you know our thoughts right now. And just starting off, Oklahoma is the favorite. I mean, it makes sense. They're the favorite at minus 180 in the Big 12. They're also the highest rated Big 12 team at uh, third. They're also the only other team besides Alabama that got vote, votes in the coaches poll in the preseason rankings. So, guys, is Oklahoma the surefire Big 12 uh, champion that it seems they're trying to make them in this uh, preseason? Antonio, you go first. I don't know if it's sheer fire. I, I like uh, Iowa State, and and especially at the odds that they're given. I think I saw them at plus three fifty. I like Iowa State, and um, again, they are. I think they're in the top four in the country in terms of uh, returning production, and I think ninety four percent of their production on the offensive side of the ball is returning, and eighty one percent of of their defensive production is returning. Of course, led by uh, Brock Purdy at quarterback, Brees Hall at running back. Mike Rose, who's the Big, T- Big 12 player of the year on the defensive side of the ball, tight end Ch- Charlie Kohler. I really like this team. Matt Campbell's doing an amazing job at Iowa State. I like the experience. They played in big games last year. Coming back this year, I think this is a team that can really, really push for that Big 12 championship. Iowa State definitely getting the respect from some coaches and uh, from the NCAA is already preseason ranked eighth they didn't have to work their way into the top 10 so far this season so it'll be interesting where they go from there jared how about you we got oklahoma with spencer rattler we got iowa state with all those guys coming back that antonio just mentioned are you looking at those two teams or is there a third i don't see a third team i do agree with antonio i think ohio state or excuse me iowa state um, is able to make a push but i don't think it'd be big enough oklahoma is kind of the alabama outside of the sec um, and put Ohio State in that conversation. And, and for the most part, you put Clemson in that conversation too. These, those are teams that have dominated their conferences over the last couple of seasons. Uh, they've built the foundation in Oklahoma. Uh, it used to be Texas running it. It's not. Uh, the fact that they're joining the SEC, um, it makes me happy because I know I'm going to be betting against them, not because I dislike Texas. They're just not there. They don't match up talent-wise, coaching-wise, to compete with those teams. At least they haven't shown it yet. Uh, as for Oklahoma, they are the team to beat. Uh, I, I would take it right away. Uh, the line to win the, the conference isn't great, but it's good enough in my eyes, and I would put money on it. Yeah, minus 180 at Bovada is what we're seeing. It fluctuates around. You can line shop because it's down to like 160 at some other sports books that we also use. Um, when I'm looking at this, I mentioned Spencer Rattler earlier, and he's currently the favorite in the Heisman odds, actually. If you take a look at those in terms of the preseason, Spencer Rattler is at plus 450 ahead of names like Bryce Young, DJ Ugalele, and JT Daniels. And you know what? Spencer Rattler had a little bit of a tough start last season. He got losses to teams like Kansas State and Iowa State. And I think those are going to be fuel for the fire. Lincoln Riley is a really good coach over with the Sooners. He has prepared these quarterbacks to excel, to win Heisman trophies, and then to go off to the NFL and do some great things. So I have some high expectations for the Sooners team. I think that they are going to be uh, running through this Big 12. I agree, minus 180. It, it's not too big. I'm going to hold off on placing it, though, just because they are – nearly minus 200 favorites at this point. And so I'm going to just, just try to find value week to week on them, to be honest. But uh, guys, like I said, there's four teams. So we have Oklahoma, we have Iowa state. The other two teams in the top 25 are Texas and Oklahoma state. Texas is a team that typically gets a lot of preseason love in terms of preseason rankings in the top 25. Is this deserved or should Oklahoma state really be this third team that we're talking about? Uh, Antonio. I like Oklahoma State, and even though they lost Chubba Hubbard, that's a lot of production. They actually have some depth, depth at that running back spot, Desmond Jackson, L.D. Brown, et cetera. Um, also, two 
um, uh, what is his name? Why am I? Spencer Stewart. That's his name. Yes. Spencer Stewart at quarterback. Another guy that kind of had some ups and downs, peaks and valleys, similar to Spencer Rattler, got off to uh, a kind of an inauspicious start, but then really cleaned it up there toward the end. So he's a guy that I'm looking forward to take that next step. They also have some depth on the defensive uh, line as well. The big question with them is the offensive line. Will they be able to have some production there? But that's a team that I'm really, really looking at. And uh, I think Texas is going to have to establish some culture. I'm a West Coast guy, so I'd like to see Sark being successful there. And I think it'll take a minute, but I do think he'll be successful at some, in some measure. Oklahoma State is at plus 1,100 odds. Some pretty good value for the fourth team in the Big 12. I mean, in football, you never know. Injuries, you play to win the game. You still got to play it. A loss to Iowa State early in the season to a team like the Sooners. Who knows? It would make the Big 12 much more open race like it was last year. This is a very interesting conference to me. I think one of these teams will be in the college football playoffs coming out of it most likely the Oklahoma Sooners, but it would probably take an undefeated run through the conference in order to do so. Uh, guys, before we jump out of here, though, any just last thoughts about this conference? So, Jared? Yeah, I think my one thought is that Oklahoma is still the team to beat, but as Antonio alluded to, Iowa State deserves some credit. They have really grown on me over the last couple of seasons. They are getting recruits that they were not getting in the past I don't see anybody else in the mix, though. I know Oklahoma State has shown some upside in Texas, and everybody seems to be somewhat optimistic on them. I just think until someone can take it to Oklahoma, I'm not going to bet against Oklahoma. How about you, Antonio? We found out that Horns Down is going to be some personal flags this year. Is that going to impact some games? That, 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 I, I don't like that at all. Like, <laughs> again, you know, one of the things that we're making a comparison here, one of the things that, that people love about football and basketball is the fact that there is a, uh, an element of gamesmanship that's allowed, of course, to a certain level, but there's an element of it that's allowed. It's part of the reason why baseball is behind the eight ball in the American sports conscience. When you do these types of things that you try to legislate that competitive nature out of the game, it's not good for anybody. This is all good natured stuff. I could see if it was offensive or something of that nature, but I don't like that at all. Maybe that's colored by the fact that I played as well, but nonetheless, don't like it. Need to see it. I want to see this con- this conference be competitive. As we know, it's always competitive because nobody plays defense. So <laughs> with that being said, I think we'll, we'll be in tune for some shootouts here. I can't wait to see it. Well, hopefully these these horns down personal flags won't impact games too much, but there might be some moments. Hopefully not. This has been the Sports Geek previewing the Big 12 conference in the college football season. I'm Jake Higgins with Antonio Williams and Jared Slensky, as always. Let us know in the comments who you think we're going to is going to win. Seems like we think Oklahoma, maybe Iowa State can play a surprise, but let us know in those comments. For the Sports Geek, I'm Jake Higgins. We'll see you next time.